What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. Today I'm gonna to show you how to hit the front, middle, and rear delt without having to rely on exercises like this, or this, or even this. As a matter of fact, we don't have to rely on using any weights at all. I'm gonna give you three ways to hit each one of these heads of the deltoid without using any equipment at all. So let's first go after that front delt. We know that the front delt is commonly worked in a lot of other exercises we do, namely the bench press. But we do know that if we can keep our elbows in front of our body, as I've shown you here before on this channel, we can safely press overhead. But what if we don't have access to something to press? We can actually press our own body. So this introduces this whole concept that's going to run through this entire video of relative motion. So when I get down on the ground here, I'm no longer trying to press the bar away from my body, I'm trying to press myself away from the floor. And you can see that I can still have the same exact mechanics of the shoulder. My elbows are still staying in front of my body positioned the same way as if I was pressing dumbbells or a barbell over my head. But by pressing my body away, I've replicated the same force and tension in the delts, which is going to allow them to grow regardless of whether or not you're using dumbbells or weights as your resistance. Your body will do just as much. Next up, this is one of my favorites because we're going to hit that hard to hit middle delt, at least if you don't have dumbbells, right? We think that the best way and the only way to hit these is to do lots of side lateral raises. And that might be true because we don't think there's any way we can replicate this without weights, but there is. Guys, if you hit the floor again and realize this concept of relative motion is working in your favor, then you will be able to hit and target these middle delts. So what you want to do is you want to get down to the ground and dig your elbow into the ground on whatever side you're going to work. And what you're going to do is get up on your toes if you're able to. If not, you can start down on your knees. From here, you're going to tuck one hand up against your chest, the non-working hand, and you're going to lower yourself down to the ground to get a little bit of a pre-stretch on that middle delt, and then rotate your body up and away from the elbow on the floor. Up and away. And what you see here, guys, is you're getting that rotation, that abduction of the arm away from the body. The same exact motion that you're getting in the side lateral raise but you're doing it with your own body. The difference here is instead of moving your arm away from your body as you would when you're lifting the dumbbell, you're moving your body away from your arm. But it doesn't matter because what's going on at the joint itself is the same. You're still getting abduction at the shoulder. You're still getting resistance, this time in the form of your body. But the fact is your muscles only know that you've delivered tension to them and it's enough to help them grow bigger and better. And now finally, we've got the rear delt. And once again, we think dumbbells are our only option, but not so fast. See, if you spend all your time doing bent over lateral raises to hit the rear delt, not only have I shown you that that's not even the best exercise option when you do have access to weights, but I've got a better option here for you when you have no access to any weights at all. This is the reverse iron cross. So what you do is you get yourself on the ground here, you put your feet flat on the ground, and the goal is that all you want to try to do is push through your closed fists into the ground as hard as you can, high enough to get your elbows cleared from the ground. And you can see the extreme activation of the rear delts because we're getting our body into extension. We're getting those arms of ours into extension back behind our bodies. And the rear delts, the great thing here is that you can actually intensify this contraction by holding it for two or three seconds and then lowering yourself back down. The fact is, once again, we're using relative motion. Instead of worrying about pushing our arms back behind our body while lifting a dumbbell, we can worry about pushing our body away from the floor by pushing through the arms. The effect is the same. Your rear delts only know the fact that the tension being delivered to it is hard, it's difficult, and most of all, capable of helping you to add more muscle. So there you have it guys, all three heads of the delts hit without equipment, delivering tension is the key. Guys, no matter what you have access to, there's never going to be an excuse for not getting in shape. If you're looking for a program that's completely body weight, that requires no equipment at all, we have that. That's one of our programs over at athletex.com, it's Athlean Zero. In the meantime, if you found the video helpful, leave your comments and thumbs up below. Make sure you watch our latest video, subscribe if you haven't already, turn on those notifications, and I'll see you guys back here for another video in just a couple days. Later.